this book is like two halves. Um, one is uh, me writing st straight to Gordon Lightfoot, letters from me to him. And that alternates between the reconstruction of one week in 1972, the week July 11th to the 18th. And within that half of the book, there's all these the divergent storylines, such as that week it was the largest uh, uh, prison escape in um, uh, Canadian history out of Kingston Penn. The 1972 Canada Russia hockey teams were announced. The Pioneer 10 spacecraft penetrated the asteroid belt around Jupiter. The Bobby Fischer Boris Spassky chess match happened. It was a total eclipse of the sun. And uh, at the end of the week, Mariposa happened. And that's kind of the focus of the book because that does Lightfoot is part of that event. The people have been sort of hectoring me for uh, why, quite a while to write a book about uh, Gordy. I couldn't because um, I had a bit of a, I had some history with him in terms of uh, our band recorded record the Emma Fitzgerald, one of his songs, and uh, pissed him off. My editor, Jane Warren, um, she suggested I write a letter to Gord to sort of appeal to him. And I did, and, and heard nothing back. But I showed the letter to Jane, and she was like, this is a, kind of a cool letter. Why don't, you, why don't you write a few more? And I was like, why would I write a few more? I just sort of appealed to him, and he said no. And she was like, well, it's good writing. You might have an idea there. So I kept writing, I kept writing. I ended up with all of these letters to him. And that's, that's where the book was sort of born, realizing that I didn't need his participation in terms of writing a book about him. And I could kind of create his life. There's lots of fictional elements in this book. But largely the book takes place at the foot of the city. It takes place on Toronto Island. Sort of the, the, the masses of people boarding the ferry to go to the island for this event, where Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell, and Neil Young, and Lightfoot all showed up. I've always felt I was a Toronto writer. Toronto's, you know, having lived here, and worked here, and performed here, and created art here, it's always been so good to me. It's always been such a great place to work. Um, that, uh, I, you know, I think that is something in itself really worth celebrating. I think this, these awards, you know, celebrate that.